Well, I mean, some trends are pretty much the same we have seen in, in, in the past three years. I think advanced analytics, everything that has with, uh, to do with predictive modeling and um, harnessing AI in the context of insurance. And with that, there's the whole ecosystem about data. Um, so that's definitely a trend. Uh, we've also seen a lot in, in, in the context of embedded insurance and how insurance can actually be distributed with uh, different type of channels. Um, and that uh, has brought some, some really cool innovation in the context of product iteration, uh, product management, a more dynamic product that can actually harness transactional data. So those are some interesting trends we're seeing for sure. Well, you know, there's the elephant in the room about valuations and how the market is doing. Um, I think I'm actually pretty optimistic. I, I think the market is not really able to differentiate between different intertech startups and companies. So uh, we've seen a lot of sentiment driving that. And uh, so some challenges are really around um, the companies that need additional rounds and funding to continue on the development and deployment of their products. Um, but there's, you know, uh, there's also positives in there. I also think um, Usually storms can be very cleansing, so we've also seen some consolidation and uh, some closer look at the fundamentals of, uh, of many of the intertech um, players in, in, in the ecosystem. Well, you know, with data and fundamentals and essentially really looking at um, where revenue is being generated, where money is going, is it really going into development, is it going into marketing and, and things that, you know, sometimes people um, don't realize how important they are, like channel development, right? So we've uh, had a very big push at the beginning of the Intertech movement in the context of distribution. Um, and 10 years later, we still have a lot of um, the, you know, the traditional digital channels that are underdeveloped. Besides motor, there's not much there in most countries. So to which extent do we need push innovation that relies on digital channels? And how can we actually digitize in a channel and product agnostic way? So I feel that's the way we can iterate um, the ecosystem into areas that bring more value. Well, continue to engage with the external InsurTech ecosystem. We are, we consider ourselves as InsurTech ourselves. We have technology solutions, have been bringing them to the market for a very long time, only for insurers. Uh, but um, the ecosystem is, is a buzzword and it should be, right? Uh, because there is a lot, you shouldn't reinvent the wheel. There's a lot of uh, ways to collaborate in that ecosystem, finding the right partners. And that's what we will continue to be doing. It's a pleasure as always. Uh, I mean, lots of, you know, for us, uh, for th those of us that have been doing this for 10 years, it's always the usual suspect. So it's a gathering of friends, uh, but also a lot of insights, nice conversations, a good balance in, in the audience mix. So very nice.